Hey what is going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to create an epic trailer animation inside of it film express let's take a look at the preview and get started Alright, so the first thing we'll do is we're going to import all of these assets inside HitFilm. You can download it from the link given in the description. So once you do that, then just create a new composite chart. I'm going to call this scene 01. For the duration, I'm going to go with 4 seconds. 19, 20, 10, 80, 30 FPS should be good enough. Click on OK. Then let's bring in our thick atmosphere footage inside this comp. I'm going to right click on this layer and select transform fit to frame. Since this is a 4K footage and our comp is just 1080p, so we want this to fit within this frame. And now we'll just go to particles and select that and drag that in. Right click, blend, and set that to screen. Now you'll be able to see your particles. Now it's time to create our text and we're going to make it look cinematic. So we'll just create a new text layer and we can type in whatever we want. Let's um, type in main title. I'm going to select this and in the text tab, I can change it to any font that you want. We'll just choose kind of cinematic font. The one that I'll use is called Gilroy and I'm going to set the font weight to light. Let's increase the font size. Let's make this around 130. I'm going to increase the letter or character spacing. Set that to around 230 as well. And now we'll just you know add our tagline. So I'm going to hit enter on the keyboard to jump to the next line and type in some text over here so i'm going to say your tagline and we can just select this bit and reduce the font size and we'll just increase the character spacing a lot so around 1000 there you have your text then we can go to the layout and go down to alignment and just click on this button or the icon that says align vertical middle all right so now we'll just apply some effects on this the first one will be gradient color gradient so search for color gradient and just apply it on this text layer and we'll just expand that and set the blend to none opacity to 100 and i'm going to make sure that the white color is at the top and the black is in the bottom so something like that all right looks good then the next effect we're going to apply is drop shadow apply it on the text and uh, we can just you know zoom into this and see what we have here i think the default values look fine but let me just adjust some settings over here make this around 4.5 and increase the opacity to let's do 100 and increase the penumbra value as well and i think that looks fine but you can you know obviously you know change these settings if you want now the next thing we're going to do is which is completely optional but you can create a new grade layer and call it CC for color correction. And HitFilm has some beautiful presets. So if I just scroll down in the effects, you'll see presets here and just go to film looks. And you have these, all these different presets here. Some require add-ons, but most of them are free. I'm gonna use this preset, I think it's deepest blue. So let me just drag that in. Yeah, there you go. You can see that it instantly changes the look of your scene and makes it look a lot better. You can even go inside these, any of these effects. If you want to turn it, them off, you can just simply click on this checkbox. I can just, you know, turn it on or off. I kind of like the overall look into this. I'm gonna just leave all of these enabled and we are done here. So what we can do is let's head over to our editor timeline. I'm gonna use this audio that I got from Ben Sound. It's called Evolution. I'm gonna drag that in and you can just zoom into this and you can you know use these waveforms to match it with the beats so i'm going to drag in my scene one which has this audio track with it as well i'm going to get rid of this audio track audio 2 so i'm going to right click here and select delete track click on yes to delete the track and i'm going to just bring the video to track one so here we have the animation inside our edit timeline what we can do is we can just listen do this and see where the drop happens. So let's play this. So you can look at these waveforms and you can see the next peak is right over here. So I'm just trim the clip 
right over here and at the end i'm just going to apply a fade to color effect on this clip so if i just play this i can just extend this as well right so then we'll create our another scene so we'll just duplicate this scene one Control d to duplicate just rename this one to scene two double click on that and just select your text and change it to any text that you want fine so then we can also uh, select our atmosphere layer and we can go to layout and we have these options over here um, i'm going to select mirror vertical and we'll just switch the position and i'm also going to click on this icon rotate 90 degree counterclockwise let's click on it again and it completely changes the direction of the smoke and you can do the same thing with the particles as well just to add a bit of randomness in our animation let's go back to our editor timeline again in the editor timeline we'll just select our scene to bring it inside our editor timeline let's make sure we move it over here i'm going to delete the second audio track and just move it down to the first track i'm not going to apply any transition at the beginning of the scene too as uh, if i just play this animation you'll see the audio and the impact it creates when you leave it without a transition it just looks much better without without the transition so if i just apply a transition you'll see it doesn't look that impact trailer so it's kind of hard to explain but it's completely your choice i i like to just you know keep it without a transition and again we'll just go to the next beat which is right over here you can see the waveform you know trim the clip and add a fade to color over here and then you can you know repeat the process uh, create a scene three or you can add some video of your own or some montage that you have created so yeah that is pretty much it shameless plug i'm actually working on a preset pack so i have created some presets for hit film these are not ready yet but what you can do is you can simply drag in these presets so for example the distortion power zoom drag it to scene one and you can see the transition let me just mute the audio you can see the transition over there and let's go to scene two and we can apply something else and use hyper roll and you have a completely different transition so still working on these um there will be like maybe 30 20 or 30 transitions yeah so this is you know just to show you what you can do with with these uh, presets you can add these to your uh, footages montages or any sorts of animation that you're creating so yeah, uh, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something new. If it did, then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.